So we're going to talk here today about the Arch Kick script. Uh, this was done by Sad Error. I don't see Sad Error on right now. I did tell him I was going to be talking about his script today. I was thinking about doing it like yesterday, but I really wanted to get the um, uh, I wanted to get that uh, discussion in on Fedora yesterday. So uh, I end up uh, uh, I ended up uh, doing or not Fedora uh, OpenSUSE yesterday. So I ended up doing the OpenSUSE build uh, yesterday. And then uh, I said I was going to go ahead and, and walk through the Arch script today, uh, the Arch Kick script. And uh, I did get a chance to walk through it once. Um, and uh, I have something that, that roughly qualifies as a Arch build. Now, mind you, I have not built an Arch build before. I've done things like, you know, obviously, Manjaro's Arch base and Antargoss's Arch base and things like that. Um, but... Uh, uh, what I wanted to what I wanted to do here is we're just gonna look at what I was able to build now There were a few things like I goofed up in one of the scripts where I was supposed to go in and edit the sources And so one of the things that I have found on my build is that my sources are uh, Are not working so it pretty much killed all of the packages I would want to install but hey the main system is is working and so um, here I just went ahead and installed it. You can uh, select your a variety of different desktop environments. So I went ahead and uh, went with Budgie as a desktop environment. Uh, so that seems to work pretty well. Um, one of the things that I found is that uh, I had actually accidentally goofed up in part of the script and it takes about an hour or so to install it. So I didn't have a chance to run through the script again. Maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll look at it, we'll boot into it, at least see. So you can see we only have Firefox and Chromium and Kden Live, and nothing else came on the system um, as I as I installed it. That's just because, like I said, I goofed something up, but the script is really cool. Um, gives you the ability to install Arch, and it's just going to walk through a series of scripts. So this is this is kind of what what you get on that. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through um, how, to, how to set the script up here, if I can remember how to shut down my computer in Budgie. <laughs> um, and then uh, what we're going to do is maybe we'll uh, have a look at how this works. All right, so here is the actual page. So this is at github.com forward slash sad error 256 forward slash arch kick forward slash blob forward slash master forward slash readme. Of course, I'm on the readme page. Uh, you can go back to the uh, main Arch Kick page here. You can see what the script looks like. So this is uh, this is the actual script. So of course it is all open source. Basically, all it's going to do is it's going to walk through instead of having to go into Arch and grab and read through all the documentation. It's gonna it's just a script that goes through all of the documentation uh, as it is. And so if you just click on the Read Me here. Uh, then you can see what you need to do. Just go ahead and grab an Arch Linux uh, ISO. So I went ahead and just grabbed it from this link in here. If you need to uh, set up Wi-Fi, you need to boot the, this menu in here. This is kind of like, this is good documentation for if you know Sad Error, he's like a middle schooler. This is actually good documentation for a middle schooler. So that's why, I mean, these are the guys that are going to be carrying the Linux community on. Uh, he tells you how to set up the Wi-Fi there. If you don't, if you're not using Wi-Fi, you're just plugged in Ethernet. You should be set to go, and then you just grab the script here. So you're grabbing the script with curl, and then you are uh, running the script with bash, and then all you need to do is just sit there and walk through all of the different steps. So let's go ahead and uh, see if I can uh, get one of these guys uh, running appropriately. So let's go ahead and. Go back over to my desktop view here. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go into my system. Let me just grab my Arch script. And I'm going to go back to this view here. We're just going to go ahead and boot that. So that should boot us right into the, uh, into the terminal there. All right, so there we are. Now we are logged in as root at the Arch distro. Um, we should be able to uh, grab... Uh, the clipboard from host to guest. So hopefully I can copy this. But I'm not sure that the Arch actually has the ability to paste something in. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing that. So we're just going to go ahead and manually type this guy in. curl-o 
it's not too long. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash raw dot github uh, github user content dot com forward slash sad error two five six slash arch kick slash master slash arch kick dot sh and bash arch kick dot sh let me just double check that real quick that seems correct all right so now we're gonna tells you here here's your uh, on screen made uh, made for making arch easier to install reduces the pain and time of installing arch Linux with a simplified installer also provides extra settings like picking a desktop environment window manager so you don't have to spend hours configuring things it's not perfect of course you'll be using legacy bios not efi only english key map is supported a fork would be needed for multiple versions so if you are looking to port something like this to another version get a hold of the sad error and uh he might be uh interested in the help over there may not work for nvidia drivers and may not work for all machines of course um and this is a new script uh do you use wi-fi or ethernet so is that one of the things that I found is that um, some of the entries you just hit the key, some of the entries you have to hit the key and enter. <laughs> Not sure if that's standard for this type of thing, but uh, it's actually a little annoying to uh, get in the way. So now we want to decide which disk to run this on. So I'm going to do SDA. Of course, we see loop zero, SR zero, and SDA. So he does tell you, you know, just like that example, SDA, SDB, we're not doing that. So which, um, uh, which uh, number are we putting it on? We're gonna go with two, going to use swap. We're gonna say no. Um, I think we're good. Okay, so now next thing requires knowledge of Nano Text Editor. It's nice that they use Nano instead of Vim because a lot of people don't know how to use it. Uh, use Vi and Vim. Um, let's go ahead and just have a look at that. So he's giving you the X instruction there: Control X Y and Enter to save the file. So that's actually nice for a new user. Um, so this is kind of the server he's using. We're just going to go ahead and leave it as it is. If you're confused, just press Y. Are you confused? I am not confused. Um, I don't think. Yeah, it, it's, and I think that might be part of the problem. Maybe there might be something in there I need to edit, but since I don't do Arch on a regular basis, I'm not 100% certain. If anybody can tell me, uh, let me know. Um, I'm not sure we're gonna go through all of this. It kind of depends on how long. Like I said, it took me about 35, 40 minutes last time I did this. All right, so we got down to the part of the script where it's asking us for some information. So we need to start by entering um, entering our location. So we're gonna do America here. And then, <clears throat> I'm in New York, forget about it. Forget about it. All right, use Nano again to edit the local file. All you need to do is uncomment the line of text with your locale. Uh, so yes, let's go ahead and edit that file and what I'm actually going to do is control W and I'm going to look for um, uh, EN I'm So we're going to go with EN is it EN US I think so here we are, ENUS, we're gonna uncomment that form, control X, Y, enter. Host name, let's just call this guy Arch. All right, so now it's just gonna ask us a lot of different questions like this. Um, let's see. 
You know what you could do, um, sad error? You could put in, uh, see if you can put in some coloration so I can more easily see what I'm looking at. Okay, installing Wi-Fi drivers. If you use Ethernet, won't matter. Um, no. Setting a root password. Okay, installing Grub. All right, um, let's see. Post install, set up your user account, install your favorite tools, install desktop environment, uh, press any key. Um, dude, I don't, I don't have an any key. Where's the any key? <laughs> All right, username, password. All right, so here's where we want to pick our desktop. So we have Fluxbox, uh, i3, Windows Manager, Openbox, Mate, Budgie, LXDE, XFCE, KDE, Plasma, and GNOME. Let's go with KDE this time. Um, you know what I'd kind of like to see there is I'd like to see an enter key. So if I accidentally hit, hit a button, I'm not like... Uh-oh. Whoops, I meant to hit I meant to hit uh F and I hit G instead. No, no, no. Um that'd be kind of neat there. Um default is all, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit enter. Two providers available. one and this is the part where there is a lot of different stuff and so proceed yes all right so now this is probably going to take a little bit of time to get that running all right so now it is asking us uh let's see Network manager, yes. Reinstalling network manager, reloading system network manager, skipped current root is not booted. Device manager is not running. Uh, I've said no to Caden Live. I've said no to Geary or Genie. No. Sure. This is where I got into the error the last time, uh, sad error. See if, see if you can figure out what's going on here. Um, it's failing to retrieve a whole bunch of things. And so pretty much everything else I'm going to try and install is going to fail. So this is actually what happened on my last build. So we have no terminal application. <laughs> Hooray! Setup is done. So everything works smoothly except down to that last part. Of course, now the thing's going to reboot, and when it reboots, it's going to be rebooting into um, into the drive with Chaz. That so we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, we're just going to go ahead and power off, and then boot this from the virtual box. Now open it back up and see if that that actually runs or not. All right, so we can pull down Session Plasma, Arch. All right, so now we have an arch build. All right. 
appears as though Dolphin may not have installed itself. <laughs> so we have the core. This is kind of what happened the last time I tried to build it too. We have the core application, um, but it pretty much didn't bring everything else, anything else with it. So yeah, see if see if anybody else can duplicate that error and sad error if you see that. Um, um, okay, so yeah, somebody else told me you also have this issue, so you think it might have a typo. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's I, I got that twice myself. So see if you can get that fixed, uh, and then that would probably be pretty good. But you know, otherwise we got a we got an arch build with the desktop environment of our choice. I'd say it's overall a success for uh, for a new script. So yeah, there's uh, looks like there's a little problem with that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video from Switched to Linux. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the links at the top. There is another video over here. You can check out our Patreon page down here. And you can check out shop.switchtolinux.com for information on a t-shirt like this or some other designs. Thanks for watching and hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.